Okay, here's the drawing side view of the coal miner. Well, here's his head. Now this looks a little fat, but remember we're going, this is the outside of the line we're cutting on, so we're going to be cutting away into this, okay? Now a hint on drawing patterns. A lot of people, you'll see patterns that show the heel of the shoe, like that. And people will cut that out. Well, actually, what people will do is they won't allow for the material that they're going to cut out or cut off. And they will cut out the pattern exactly on the line of the drawing or pattern that they're following. You have to remember that when we whittle, we're going to be taken off about that much and about that much, about that much, and about that much. And down here on this sole, if you cut that notch, here's the, here's the foot. Let's just say this is the bottom of the foot. Okay? And you're cutting from this way, and you see the notch for the heel there. Okay, there's, here's the notch for the heel right here. And you're cutting, your blade's going straight down. You're taking out that notch for the heel, right like that. See what you're doing to the heel? You're cutting off the whole side over here. That heel goes across like that. So never, ever cut that. That is such a simple thing to remove with your knife, but I've seen people cut that off. And believe me, I used to do it too before I learned. I don't do it anymore. Anyway, I've got a piece of uh, three inch basswood here. Good Heineke basswood, four inches wide by three inches. Cost me five dollars and eighty cents. So, I'm going to lay this on here. A piece of old carbon paper. And the bottom. that. our side view. This is the one we're going to cut right now. All right? So off to the bandsaw. Back over to the workbench. Okay, 
we're over here at the workbench. Here's our side profile again. Matches this here. Notice I don't even bother cutting things off like this. Just a quick snip of my knife and that thing's gone. Alright, now first thing we got to do is establish his crotch. Okay? So we just take from his butt back here and we just draw a line around. So here's the crotch right there. So we just take that and draw it across there. It's right there. Okay, now, we want to have him with his legs standing a little bit apart. There's his crotch. And redo this. Yeah, might as well. I was trying to save some wood there, but not going to be able to. Okay, here's the outside of our shoe. Now remember, his feet are turned out. Okay? I wish I had a carving here to show you feet turned out, but I don't. Anyway, when you're standing, your feet aren't straight ahead. They're kind of... They're kind of... I can't see something. Hmm? I don't know when you're standing, I you're not standing like you. this. Okay? You're always standing like this. It's just natural that you stand that way, otherwise your balance is off a little. So we have to account for that. So we're going to start with this outside edge. We're going to come in like that. Up there. Again, this is just something you, you have to visualize. Okay, here we go. I got this first. pieces back here that I left on there. See, these things will just pop right off of there. And that way you don't ever have to worry about uh, taking stuff on again. And there we have our body blank. Now, come back over to the workbench. I want to show you okay, something. This is what I was telling you about. Allowing for that foot to be uh, pointed out like that. Now here's that heel, see? Had we cut that notch based on our drawing right here, see what it would have done? What we want is we want this. 
So never cut that notch and then you won't have any problem. And like I say, this boot is kind of boot. Well, yeah, I guess it might be a boot. It's kind of long. So there's that chip that we'll just knock off with our knife just almost as soon as we start carving. Okay, so now we've got our blank. Let's see how it looks to the head. Again, it looks kind of big right now, but remember we're going to be carving a lot of stuff away. And if it did, is a little tall or something like that, we can always take off a little more up here to bring the figure down to size. Remember, this is caricature carving, so things can be out of whack a little. So anyway, we got our body blank now, and in the next video we'll start uh, blocking this thing out. So until then, I'll talk to you later.